Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to take you through the editing process of the fake promo trailer I made using stock video and the amp title cinematic plugin from Motion VFX. Let's jump into Final Cut Pro and get started. I've already downloaded and imported a few stock video clips and the music track I want to use for this project. I've also installed the amp title cinematic plugin from Motion VFX. I'll grab the video clip I want to start with and drop it into my timeline. This edit will be based on the music track, but I like to start with a video clip in my primary timeline and connect the music below it. My music track starts off with a loud drum beat. So I selected the video clip with the flare lighting to use at the start. These two should suit each other perfectly. I'll skim my clip to find the frame where the flare explodes, place a marker there, and line up the first beat of the music track with my marker. We're off to a good start. For my next clip, I want to use the medium shot of the two riders, so I'll add that to my timeline. The problem here is in the first clip, the movement is from left to right, but the second clip is from right to left. To fix this, I need to flip it around to match the movement in my first clip. I'll select the clip in my timeline, open the effects browser, and down at the bottom, search for the flipped effect. That's better. I'll add a few more clips to my timeline until I get to this break in the music track. This is the perfect place to have the title of my fake film over a black screen. So I'll add a custom generator in this spot and leave it as plain black. I can also use this break to break the continuity of my clips and go from the night scenes with a flare to day scenes. I'll move my playhead to where the music kicks in again, go back one frame, and press option right bracket to ripple trim my generator clip. Intentionally cut my video clip one frame before the music beat. This way, the viewer doesn't have to process both at the same time. I'll add a few more video clips until my project gets close to 30 seconds. That's how long I want this promo to be. Next, let's add some titles to this trailer. For this, I'm going to be using the Amp Title Cinematic plugin from Motion VFX. I seen this title pack featured in Apple's iPhone event and really wanted to try it out. Let me tell you, it did not disappoint. This plugin has exactly what I needed for this promo. For the first clip, I'll use title number seven. I'll add it to my timeline just like a normal title and ripple trim it to the same length as my clip. With the title clip selected, up in the inspector window, there's a bunch of parameters we can adjust. I'll first enter my text and scale it up to make it a little bit bigger. This title also gives you an option to highlight part of your text with a different color, but I want to keep this one simple, so I can just uncheck that in the inspector window. For my next clip, I'll use title number 28. I'll add it to my timeline and replace the default text. I really like the way this one looks, so the only thing I'll change is the font to match the first title. For the next clip, I'll add title 31, replace the text, and once again, make sure the same font is used. Next, for the main title, since there's a break in the music and it's over a plain black background, all attention will be on the title itself, so we can use something a little bit more elaborate. I think title number 22 will work good here. I'll add it to my timeline, ripple trim it, and replace the text. If we play this back, it looks good, but it doesn't stay on screen long enough. If I just extend it over my next clip, the color of the text blends into the clip, so that doesn't really help. To make the text a bit more prominent, I'll make a copy of my black generator clip, place it over the next clip, and keyframe the opacity to fade it out. So with the top generator clip selected and the playhead at the start of the clip, I'll add a keyframe to the opacity slider. Down arrow key to move the playhead to the end of this clip, and I'll bring the opacity slider all the way down to zero. This looks much better. I'll add a few more titles until I get to the end of my project. Next, for the audio track. Even if I end it right on the beat and fade it out, it still doesn't sound right. I have a little trick for this. I actually just learned this a few weeks ago from watching Brian Francesco, who did a video on this effect. I'll link it in the video description. Basically, what you do is you find the beat you want to end your song on, and with a playhead on that frame, press Shift H to add a hold frame. Next, go to your effects browser and search for the cathedral effect. Add this effect to your music track. 
Place your playhead about three to four frames before your hold frame. Bring the amount slider of this effect all the way down and add a keyframe. Move your playhead ahead about four frames and bring the slider up to about 50. Trim off the end of your clip and fade it out. Here's what that sounds like. I'll add one more black generator clip at the end and add a coming soon title above that. Add a couple of fade transitions at the start and at the end. And here's what our finished trailer looks like. That's how easy it is to make a cool promo trailer for your next project. And especially for videos like this one, the M-Title Cinematic plugin is awesome. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Motion VFX did not pay me to make this video, but it is an affiliate link, so I will get a small referral fee if you decide to purchase. Thanks for watching, I'll see you back here next week.